watching and thank you for joining us. We begin with an exclusive, a conversation with the man who earlier this week fell from the Ambassador Bridge and survived. CTV's Travis Fortnum spoke with him earlier today. Travis, exactly how is he doing? You know, he's doing all right considering the circumstances. Spencer Baker is back at home recovering with his fiance and four-month-old daughter by his side. He says he remembers everything up until he was medicated by first responders on the way to the hospital. Baker told me he remembers falling. I was just thinking that this is it, man. My life's over. I'm never going to get to see my daughter again. My fiance, my whole life just flashed before my eyes. I was just remember just thinking that this is it, it's over. Baker says all the ribs on his left side are broken into multiple pieces, his right cheekbone is fractured, and his spleen has a laceration. He says his whole body's purple and he has a black eye. Baker is a structural iron worker, part of a team replacing the suspension cables that hold up the bridge. He remembers what led to the fall, but doesn't want to comment considering an investigation has begun. He does say, quote, I was doing everything I needed to do, and that's all I'm going to say about that. CTV News reached out to Baker's employer. They declined to comment because of that investigation into the incident. Baker says he's feeling the love as people from all over are reaching out, and he's grateful for that infinitely more grateful to the bystanders who sprang to his rescue. I remember falling and I remember being in the water and laying with my, trying to keep my head up on my back. And then I just remember hearing the people on the boats yelling, we're coming, we're coming. And then I just, I don't know, I think I had my eyes closed. And uh, I just kind of remember being on a stretcher on the boat and then going into the ambulance. And then somehow I remembered my fiance's phone number and the paramedic in the ambulance called my fiance. And I got to tell her I'd be all right in the ambulance. This is a story that broke on Wednesday evening included in my online coverage. You'll hear from the rescuers themselves and input from first responders. Click on ctvnewswindsor.ca. First responders say less than five minutes passed from Baker's fall to the time he was loaded in the ambulance. He was taken to a Detroit hospital before being released Thursday afternoon, less than 24 hours later. Baker says he's not looking forward to the medical bills or what being off work for the next few months will mean for his family. A GoFundMe has been started to try and supplement those costs. You'll find a link to that on our website. And Stephanie, all things considered, Baker is in pretty good spirits. When I first reached him this afternoon, he said, I feel like I fell off a bridge. And I think that sums it up nicely. Truly unbelievable. One lucky man indeed. Okay, Travis Fortnum with our top story tonight. Thank you again, Travis.